keyword generator. Using a keyword generator can help users identify the best keywords to use for a given topic, allowing them to focus their content and marketing efforts on the most effective keywords. To use a keyword generator, users should first enter a seed keyword or phrase that is related to the topic they are looking to target. The keyword generator will then generate a list of related keywords based on the seed keyword. You need to choose the country, region, and city to rank for and select the language. Once the list of keywords is generated, users should review the list and select the most relevant keywords to use in their content or campaigns. Blog Wizard Go to the Blog Wizard from the dashboard. Input the product name, description, keywords, and blog tone, then click Produce Title. The recommended unique titles for the blog you want to establish will be generated. You can select a title and then click Next. The next part is the introduction. The blog's introduction has been generated. After you've decided on the blog's introduction, click Next. The blog outline will be generated. You can produce content for all outlines or select the outline for which you wish to generate content. Finally, click Next to generate the blog's conclusion. You can see that the entire blog was generated in less than a minute. You can save it as a PDF or a Word document. You may also save it as a project, a document, or move it to Google Docs. Image Generator Go to Image Generator from the side menu. Enter the complete description of the image you want to create, and also select Medium, Style of Artist, Style of Art and Keywords. You will see that the image is generated in seconds. You can download it, save to as favorites or save to collections. Content Types Go to templates where we have over 75 plus content types ranging from blogs, websites, emails, social media, and so on. For example, if I select personalized LinkedIn post, I must first select the audience for whom I am creating content and then the workplace. Then I give the prompt, and you can see that the content is generated when you click Generate. Landing Page Go to landing page from the dashboard. Input the company name and description. Choose the page structure that you want create content for. For example, I chose the hero section. When you click on generate content you can see that the content of the hero section has been generated. You can also export it as HTML. Summarizer Navigate to Summarizer from the side menu. Enter the text that you need to summarize or you can also upload it. Choose the length you want to summarize it and click on Summarize. Languages You can easily create content in various languages simply by picking the template you would like to generate and clicking on the language option to select the language from the available list. Playground and Frameworks Navigate to Playground and enter the text you want to generate, for example if you generate store names. Give the input select the text and click on Generate, you will see that the store names are generated. You can use pre-built framework to generate cold emails, ideas, etc. Workspace Workspaces are the perfect way to stay organized and keep your content sorted. You can tailor each workspace to a specific project, allowing you to easily find what you're looking for. In addition, you can also invite others to collaborate with you within each workspace, making it easy to work on projects with others. You can view the recently created projects and switch between list and grid views. To create a new workspace, click on Create Workspace and give a workspace name. After the workspace is created, you can add team members to that specific workspace. Teams. Navigate to Profile click on Settings and select Teams. On the Teams menu can see that there is an option to invite team members. When you click on Invite Team Members, you must enter your email address and then click Invite. To activate it, the user will receive an invitation email and must click on the activation link. 
After they have activated it, the user will be brought to their account. You can manage the degree of authorization in your account by managing the user in your account via role-based access. You can choose which projects they can access and what level of access they have. Also you can choose the level of access on each projects.